Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time stream you're in. Welcome to In Deep Crit. We are playing Earth Dawn 4th Edition, the Legends of Bar Save campaign. Uh, my name is Luke Hindmarsh, I'm one half of In Deep Crit, as in the two of us that do most of the videos. We are, in fact, a larger collective, as you can see. Um, I'm playing the Obsidian Man Ashulian, um, who is a weaponsmith, and this evening I am joined by... And I am playing Sol Brimstone, the human mentalist. And I'm Phil, and today I am playing Thorndor, a dwarven nethermancer. Hey, my name's Ian, and I am playing Mindy Lell, a windling beastmaster. Little and tiny, but mighty in fierceness. And my name is Damien Humphreys, and I am the other kind of permanent half of In Deep Crit, I suppose, but we are a collective these days. Um, and I am the Games Master for this particular campaign, so I'm playing a multitude of evildoers and other NPCs who try to keep up with this merry band. Uh, thank you all for joining me again um, in this campaign. Good to see you all. Uh, we are picking up immediately from where we left off last session. Uh, we did actually end mid-combat uh, last time, which is slightly unfortunate, but there we go. Sometimes these things happen, timing being what it is. Essentially, the, the party have tracked down the, th the thieves of the maps, the various map pieces, to a hideout in the Smalls, which is a... Um, an area of the city of Par Length, which was a largely residential area, tracked them down to, to their to their hideout, um, tried the direct approach, went inside, uh, a combat ensued immediately, the gang uh, immediately attacking the characters, not wanting to in engage in any kind of discourse whatsoever. Uh, Ashulian took a bit of a pasting from the gang's leader, Makari, who is a windling, another windling beastmaster, uh, who also has a Zoac. Uh, there's a bit of, bit of a bit of a parallel going on there. Mm. Um, but it's now Julian's now back on his feet, ready to get back in the action, perhaps, or maybe maybe retreat slightly. We had some confusion at the end of last session about about the numbers and the the maths involved in Earth Dawn. Um, actually, Luke and I stayed on afterwards and checked it all out, and we, we I went back over the rules, and the, the implementation on the VT is right. You know, it's a three-step penalty for being knocked down, so on and so forth. So actually, the VTT is working perfectly. Um, the combat in Earth Dawn is is quite particularly harsh, to be fair. Um, you know, the, the penalties, I think, for being knocked down and stuff are are quite dramatic. But that's the way the system works. One thing I am going to say to, to you all now is that I'm going to stick with the, um, the combat round system, so declaring intentions, then resolving attacks and so on and so forth. I think we can be a bit looser with the declarations of intentions, though, because mechanically there's not actually any penalty for it, and it just... It certainly confused me. So I think maybe, you know, declare I'm going to aggressively attack one of the enemies or whoever's in whoever's in range or I'm going to cast a spell at somebody um, just so we know, you know, for the benefit of things like using aggressive attack for your, for your penalties um, to hit, etc. or your penalties to defense, defensive stance for your bonuses to defense, just so we know kind of what mode of combat you're in, I guess, rather than a specific, I'm going to go over here and, and hit this guy, because as we saw, the ebb and flow of combat, characters move around, and the person that you declared that you were going to hit might not be there anymore. Um, so, yeah. It's a throwback that... to uh, um, some old-school role-playing systems, uh, yeah. which have done away with that themselves in their later editions, so... Cool. And, and I think because mechanically there are some effects for the different ways, yeah. the different combat options that we've started to introduce, it's worth keeping it in. But I don't think it's it's worth being completely rigid about it either. It's an opportunity uh, for role so, playing, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. So with that, we will skip back to the house where things are going on. Oh yes. The 
<laughs> see, see, Makari, he did hurt me, but yeah. gave better than I got from him. But it's his, his blasted Zoak, which is just like... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Per's gonna rend it wing from body. I hope so. Yeah, so, so we have um, Makari, who is here, who is unconscious. Not dead, unconscious. Um, two of these thugs that are face to face with Mindy Lau, just, just over here, who are very low on their health. Mm -hmm. And the other two have not been hurt at all yet. They are still firing sling bullets into the melee. Um, and this is Howland here, who is uh, Makari's Zoak, um, who is currently in a complete rage because his master has gone down and he's flown into a frenzy because of that and um, we've actually got to the end of one round so we will go straight on to the next combat round if it would be uh, good to get back into it just before we start i appear to be in the middle of a wall and cannot see anyone yeah you are uh, I've tried oh, moving yeah. myself, but i just keep colliding uh ah, perfect Damien, I'll move you to the FLM. I don't believe that I actually had got up at the end of the last session, but we have obviously played around with the effects, uh, and so I've got nothing marked on my sheet at the moment. I think I should be knocked right. down. I think you should That's be right, knocked down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Click. I'll take that then. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you were still knocked down. Yeah. That's right. Okay, brilliant. Um, so we should go to the next combat round. And let's have some declarations of intent. Uh, Mindy Lau, what are you going to do this turn? I'm going to aggressively attack the various thugs in front of me. Marvellous. So, a quick reminder, an aggressive attack costs you one strain per attack. So it costs you one point of damage for each attack you make. You can only make one attack at the moment, so it's only okay. one point of damage. You get a plus three steps to attack and damage but minus three to your physical and mystical defences whilst you are aggressively attacking. And per the Zoak, we'll take out Howland. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to let the, uh, you know, so that because our viewers will be seeing this, that I've got the combat options table that you've changed and you've taken a, a copy of that from, I believe, the GM's screen. From this lovely GM screen. So it's a little bit clearer because I, I was struggling to understand the brief. Yeah. And it's my fault. Yeah, it was. But, uh, cool. So that's up on the screen at the moment. Cool. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. Um, and, yeah, so Poe is going to continue to attack Howland. Uh, Thorndor. Um, I am going to attempt to attack normally that Zoak unless... For some miraculous reason it dies, in which case I'll uh, attack hopefully one of the sling people. Yep, cool. Uh, Soul Brimstone, what you got for me? Um, I think the last thing I did was cast um, air armor on myself and Julian. Yeah. Um, so yes. that's a physical defense increased by plus three. Is that what it does? Yes, yeah. Right. So now, um, I'm here. Is that an enemy? Who's that? Who's that one? If you hover red. over them, the enemy should be red and the ally should be green. If I've done my job right. Okay. I'm gonna. So then I'm gonna... we'll come up with a little red hexagon around it. Okay, I'll just move. Yeah, I think that's enough movement. Then I'm gonna. My next turn, I'm going to see what an armed combat looks like. You can do okay, an so attack. if you go back to if you go back to where you were, because this we're just yeah. doing statement of intents at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're going to move and attempt to attack yeah. one of the folks. Yeah. yeah. Marvelous. And a Julian. Uh, I just need your reminder on. So just quickly looking at the, um, the chart where it says jump up. Strain to stand up as a simple action, no other movement. That you said, am I right in remembering that that's got a roll attached to it? Yes. What, yes, what is that roll? It is a, I believe, a dexterity roll. Thank you, because it's. Um, let me just double check that for you. Unlikely I'm going to be trying it if it's a dexterity roll. <laughs> uh, com 
combat options. I'm, just, I'm pretty sure it's a dexterity roll. Um, jump up. There we go. I just remember it was a takes, roll. It takes two strain and makes a dexterity difficulty six test. The test is modified by the initiative penalty of any armor he is wearing, which you're not, but does not suffer the minus three penalty for being knocked down. Ah, cool. All right, so what I am going to do then is jump up and use fire blood. Ah, okay. To, uh, try to heal. Jump up Marvelous. and then use fire blood. And clear yeah. that <laughs> Okay, so Per is up first in the initiative order. Bring it. So uh, you get to target the yep. character that you're targeting. There we go, we have targeted, and we're going to go for a bite. Chumpity chump chump chump. Does not hit Howland, unfortunately. That's outrageous. Um, I don't know. Oh, we were nine, yeah. Sorry, I was in the step. I was like, 12 should hit, but no. He rolled a nine. Yeah. No. Not good enough. Howland just flits and ducks out of the way of the bite as it comes in. Uh, and he's going to continue its attack against Thorndor, which is who it was attacking previously, if I remember rightly. Going to attempt to bite you, Thorndor. Uh-huh. With an extra success. Would you like to attempt to avoid blow? Avoid blow. I'm starting to remember you've most of you have got the avoid blow talent or skill. Oh yes. Thank you. <laughs> Not like that. Not like that though. So that is three damage after the armor is applied. Getting a little bite through your I think it's hide armor you're wearing. <laughs> Yeah, so hide arm shield. <laughs> oh, we should move that on. Mindy Lel, we are over to you. Fantastic. It's time to claw shape the horrible thug and give him the benefit of my wrath. Yep. I have no more karma to use. Target whichever one you're going for. Certainly. There we go. Do you want me to put a difficulty in? Um, it should do it automatically. So if you do, if you do the claws on your, yeah. no, so it's, so you, if you click the claws on your inventory, that's the attack roll. Oh, here we go. Apologies. It's all, it's all linked. Cool. I will do that right now. There we go. Ooh. That's a hit. Hello. Um. You targeted a shoe then, you? No, you rolled damage. Oh. You, you need to roll, so you've got an attack roll for the for the claws. Yeah, so I roll... That's damage, you just roll, oh. just different. How irritating. Because I'm doing an aggressive attack, does that change anything? Uh, yeah, you get plus, so if you go onto the combat tab on your sheet, yep. click aggressive attack on combat modifiers. We've got combat options. Aggressive attack, there it is. And then go back to your inventory and click on the word claw in your weapons. Done it. Let's do it. Boom! There we go. So that is a success. And now if you click on the roll damage, that should take claw shape into account. Fantastic. Yeah, nice. And hit apply damage for me. Yes! And he is unconscious. Nicely done. Ah, very nice. A fury of wings oh, and claw shape. The numbers are starting to turn in your favour. Nicely done, Mindy Lil. Anything from you after that? Nothing from me. I'm quite happy here. Makari is going to stay unconscious. Um, just a question on Harried. Does that apply when someone is prone? 
So because I'm prone, does that mean I don't apply harried? Um, without checking, a yes would be my assumption. Um, without without checking it, I will check it in between sessions in case I'm wrong. But logically, it makes sense that you can't harry if you're prone. Unless you're attacking, able to attack. Nor at their ankles. Mm. Yeah. No, I see your point, but... No, no, just wondering. Yeah. So. Um, can I also do a simple action? Um, I wanted to do, um... Um... Called? Avoid blow. Um, acrobatic defense, is it? Yep. Um, so acrobatic defense is against the physical defense, I believe, of any targets in close combat range. So at the okay. moment, you don't have any targets in close combat range, but once you move over to here, or to here, yeah. you can make a roll against this, this thugs. Yeah, um, I was going to move there. I was going to target... He's unconscious. That one's unconscious. One's unconscious. Oh, yeah. what's my movement? Where's my movement again? Two. I think it's ten. Ten. Six. So, so you should this... be able to get all the way. Yeah, you, you can, can move. Really unconscious dude as well. I can step through them, okay. Yeah. Four or five, I'll just go there then. Let me just check acrobatic <clears throat> defense. Um, I'm pretty sure we, we checked it last time. Um, the other one makes an acrobatic defense test against the highest physical defense of any opponent, opponents in close combat range, two yards. The adept then adds two, plus two to his physical defense for each success scored. Cool. Um, so. So I wanted to do that and then unarmed, because it's yep. a simple action. And then yeah, do yeah. the yep. unarmed combat. I'm going to roll so, both of them. Yeah, so first of all, roll acrobatic defense and your difficulty is seven. I'll just put that in the difficulty. Uh, oh man, okay, so that failed. Yep. That failed. I need a difficulty for the unarmed combat. Yeah, if you so if you target that thug, so if you hover over it, press T. Um, so the one right, press T. Yep, that one. Yep. And then go ahead and make the bomb for unarmed combat. Why does that not come up with whether you hit or not? Is that the unconscious one? Yeah. On the left's unconscious, which one's not the one no, to the right? It's not, it's not unconscious. Um, I've got four little red arrows around it and it's like... Ah, uh, because, because you rolled... Right, so you rolled instead of rolling off your... Because you haven't got it in as a weapon. Right. Not a problem. Not a problem. You hit. Okay. No extra successes. So... Yeah. Whatever your strength step is, is your damage. So if you just roll strength, then I'll just do it manually. Yeah. You can't use dexterity for that. No. Damage comes off strength. Oh. It's, yeah, fighting is strength and toughness, basically, in Earthdawn. Wow. Oh. It... Hitting anything and not being hit is dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> like, massively. It... <laughs> uh, so four damage does not get through his armor, I'm afraid. Oh no! So he hits him, but it doesn't doesn't go through his armor. Oh. Cool. That ends my go. Okay, so that thug was attacking Mindy Lel before, so he's going to carry on attacking Mindy Lel. He'd be Harry, wouldn't he? Let me see. He's got three around him. Yep. So he is harried. Uh, don't think. I should hang on. Oh yeah, harried. There's a button for it there. Brilliant. But he's going to come with his dagger. Yep, my only rolled step five, so that took it off for being harried. Doesn't get you. Nice. The thugs by the door, the one to the east, is now going to attack Sol, who's made himself a target. Ooh. Don't forget you've got air armor in place, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a hit. 
Okay. And might take it might take it into account with the air armor. The boob. No, because unless you've got it as unless you've got it in your inventory. Oh, oh, yeah. I have to have yeah. air armor equipped in, in my inventory every time I cast it. So you would have taken nothing. Yeah, you'll take nothing because that yeah. But it'll have applied to damage, so you'd need to correct that. Right, okay, yeah. Bounces off your air armor. Nice. Nice. And the other one is going to go up to Thorndor, as he was before. Getting a hit. Ooh, uh, you've already tried to avoid now. blow this round, haven't you? Well, how many ranks have you got in avoid blow? I will just check. One. Yeah, you can only do one at one around then. Ooh. Oh no! I was, why was I rolling to hit again? to roll damage. Apologies. So nine damage, which is four after armor is applied. And Thorndor, you are up. Okay, yeah, I will try and hit that Zoak. I'm gonna preserve its wings. <laughs> no. Nope. Ooh. It's too dodgy. He's he's quite dodgy to be fair. In all respects. Mm. Ashulian. Uh, so you do don't this. get the minus three steps for being knocked down. So if you put in decks and then three I, I, step modifier, I just I just put knock down check. off and then I'll yeah, yeah and then I'll yeah. roll. It, uh, I'll still be affected by being by carrying a wound. Um, difficulty six, did you say? And it's too strain as well. Yeah, I'll sort that out. Yeah. Yeah, difficulty six. So you can still you can still use your action to get up. It won't let me give myself extra. So I'm trying to increase damage and put it on. Hang on. <laughs> I can't. Hang on. Take damage. Here we go. Right. I see. Type physical. Wall. No mystic. No armor. Okay. There we go. Cool. So I've taken the strain. Yeah. Um, I mean, the funny thing about that is once you're down, getting back up is... <laughs> I'm not. I'm, t I'm taking using fire blood. Okay. So you're not, you're not going to use your action to get up? No, nope, I'm sticking with what I did there. Blood. Yeah. Yep. Trying cool. To, Go for it. I stumble so, back onto my stony backside and... Uh, so that's a fire blood roll and you, that uses up one of your recovery tests. It does and presumably I've got to have knockdown applied to it because that would affect my fire blood. <laughs> If it's the rules, it's the rules. <laughs> Just <laughs> um, it, it, it is, it is minus three. Is there, a, is, yeah. there a, is there a, is there a difficulty? No, because whatever you roll is how many HP you get back. Oh, nice. Cool. Nice, you got an explosion on that. Uh, which doesn't automatically take account. So I don't think so. No. How do I do that then? So recovery test out two. Right, thank you very much. I'll I'll put that into plug that in. Cool. You only what does Fireblood actually do, by the way? So it allows you to heal in combat. Only when there's combat. You use the okay. heat of combat to sort of like... Nice. I, I, I visualise so cool. it as I have like mul my blood turns almost lava-like for a moment or two. But it's got nothing mm. to do with being an obsidian man. It's all to do with uh, a talent that was available to me. Yeah. Mm. So That'd be cool. Because, because in combat, well... Normally, you can't take a recovery test until you've been a minute without doing anything strenuous. So, until after combat for most people, or after a minute of being knocked unconscious. But if you've got fire blood, you can do it in the middle of combat. Okay, let's go next round. Julian, what are you going to do? I'm going to leap to my feet and I'm going to try and use fire blood. Okay. Rinse and repeat. Salt. Um, I'm going to step back this time, um, and 
just declaring, aren't we? We're going to step yeah. back um, a few hexes and um, ask um, Earth Dart. Start weaving for Earth Dart. Okay, cool. Thorn Dart. I'm going to rinse and repeat and try and swat a small flying thing that I can't hit. That's going to be my job. Mindy Lel and Per. Uh, so Mindy Lel will be attacking the thug in front and Per will be continuing to attack the other Zoak. Cool. Check that initiative for Mindy Lel. You are going like about a week before everybody else. I am working it today. <laughs> cool. Let's do this. Claw attack is a massive failure. More haste, yeah. less speed. Um, so that, but can you remember to target and click on the claw in your inventory rather than an armed attack? Yeah, I did that in my inventory. I went to claw and pressed. Oh no, what I did, did that on combat. Sorry, I went into my combat and pressed claw, not in uh, my okay. in inventory. Oh, it, might, it might be the same. I don't know. Yeah. Do you want me to quickly do it in inventory and just see if it makes any difference? Yeah, give it give it a try in inventory, see if it says... Oh no, it's the same. Apologies. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Okay, and Purr? Oh, Purr is very angry. Purr's feeling particularly bitey right now. So let's see how bitey. Nice, very bitey. Go on. Uh, roll damage. Yeah, and you targeted, you targeted the oh, Zoak, right? Bugger. No, I didn't. Okay, so what did you roll? You rolled a sixteen. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so that's only one extra success. So okay. if you, do you want me to quickly target? Thing me now. Right. Um, just untarget the one you're targeting, and I'll sort it out. There we go. I've untargeted um, the one I'm targeting. So roll damage, but change change it to two extra steps rather than four extra steps damage. That's done. Yes. Nice. Still very good. Uh, so two physical armor, so that's 12 damage. Jump into a target and apply damage. Uh, no, sorry, I've got okay. it on here. Um, so 12 damage. Sorry. Takes him to 17. Is there, a big is, bite mark? is there a big bite so mark on him? More than five over. So he has to make a knockdown test against difficulty six. So that's a toughness test. Difficulty six. Okay. Nice. Purr is bitten, sorry, uh, Howland is bitten Howland. by Purr, and Purr basically drives Howland into the ground. And Howland is now knocked down. <laughs> Nicely done, Purr. Well done, Purr. It's now Howland's turn. Oh no. So... Dexterity... Oh, click Harry, not knock down. There we go. Unclick knock down anyway. Dexterity difficulty six to try and get back up. Makes it back up, but takes two strain. And that is all he can do right now. Um. No, because if you're leaping, jumping up, that's, that doesn't count. Oh, simple action, yes. Yes, sorry, yeah. Got to go after Thorndor again. Thank you. Sorry, Thorndor. <laughs> okay. Thorndor can take it. He's hench. Yeah, but those roles can. Well, he's obviously distracted by being knocked down. Right, Sol. Okay. Go. So, first of all, I'm going to move back. This one on the... Is 
is highlighted now. Oh. Uh, which, um, who are you attacking? I can't read the name. One on the left. One. Um, hover over it and press T. Have. Oh no, it's just untargeted it. So yeah, do it again now. There you go, that is targeted. The little, your little light blue dot. Yep. So I'm just gonna cast. Mm. Mm. Earth starts right. Yeah, I'm gonna start casting it. Oh, I can't so cast it. Until the I've first. Used yeah. it in Open it rather. So a thread weaving Earth test, difficulty five. Difficulty five. It's already in Might there. Might be able to just click weave from there. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Nicely done. You have woven the thread. Yeah. Well, can I also do a um, thingy? Simple action, um, acrobatic defense check, just in case. You have nobody in close combat range of you at the moment. I don't have anyone, do I, within two oh, yards? So you, need to be, you need to be based with, with an enemy to, to use it. Mm. Oh, cool, thank you. Okay, the thugs. So, this one's going after Mindy. Stabby, stabby with a dagger. Nope. This one over here is going after Sol. Still with a sling this round. Hitting you, Sol. Air armor. Only to, oh, air armor. No, that's on the armor, not the physical defense. Mm -hmm. So that's five damage. Which is actually... I don't know that goes through your armor, right? Yeah. So that's nothing, yeah. So I won't bother applying it. Nice. And the other one's going for Thorndor. <laughs> no. <laughs> An ineffectual round from the thugs. The tide has turned. Thorndor. Hey, I'm going to try and hit that Zoak again. He's not going to care has now. Got a massive bite wound from. Sorry, Howland's got a massive bite wound from Purr. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to preserve the wings this time, so if that makes a difference. <laughs> no. Apparently not. <laughs> I'm so concentrated in on him on the ground that I'm missing. Like... Just flaps up in your face a bit too quickly. Yeah. Ashulian. I'm going to try to do the Rockman neck spring one last time. <laughs> uh, so let me just put... It doesn't take into account knockdown, didn't you say? Yeah, you don't You don't get the minus for being knocked down. Cool. Uh, six. Yeah! <laughs> with, a, with a rumble like an avalanche, I sprint back the, to my feet. The whole floor shakes go, go, go. as Julian <laughs> jumps to his feet. <laughs> and then I'm going to fire blood again. Cool. As I said. Ugh. Giving off a fair amount of heat. <laughs> that takes me below my wound threshold, but that doesn't... You have to have clear your damage completely, don't you, before you can start healing wounds. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nonetheless. You're on one wound at the moment, are you? I've got one wound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Makari is unconscious, so what's everybody doing next round? Uh, let's go Thorndor first. Right, when I see um, a shoe the and spring up, I'm going to charge the thug with a sling now that he's not prone, because... I ain't doing anything to that Zoak, so <laughs> I'm trying to hit something my own size. The one here. Okay. But at the moment, he is harried. Uh, yeah, but I'll so, be lost. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to cast the Earth Dart next round. Okay. Uh, Ashulian? I bellow out. Stop or I kill him. And I raise the troll axe over the fallen Makari. And I will. Unless everyone stops by the time I get to my turn, which I'm presuming is going to be pretty slow. 
I'm gonna try to you're, it. you're first. Wow! Oh, alright. <laughs> I look around, no one yeah, reacts to my bellow and I just attack. So I'm trying to slay Makari. Okay. Uh, so he is... I need to target him, don't I? Yeah, he's, I've got him knocked down. Um, uh, so, just roll on the troll axe. And, uh, Mindy Lau. Uh, I will attack the thug, and Per will attack Howland. Cool. Okay, if the so... thug is killed by the time I get to my round, then I'm going to fly forward to the thug with the sling. Okay. So, uh, Julian, yes. Um, well, we had this discussion since last session, and you attempting to attack somebody who was unconscious on the ground. And uh, let me just check how far he is off his death rating. So I'm going to roll. Rather than rolling to hit, you get an automatic hit, so you just roll damage for your... Okay. Um, and what's his armor? His... So I'll give him half his armor as well. So I'll give him three points of armor as opposed to the full six. Um, sure. So just roll troll axe damage, which is ridiculous. It's like 300 steps or something, isn't it? <laughs> it it's it's my two notes. It's 18, step 18, because it's my strength plus mine. It should be step yeah. 18 anyway. Uh, yeah. Still only 16 points of damage. So 13 after the armor. And. Yep, he's dead. His head comes off. Am I able to, like, sort of scoop it up and fling it in the direction of the... I think we would have got um, more money from alive, but a dead, dead we're uh, still going to get money. the other way round, because now we can give him to Torgak. And Torgak was paying more. <laughs> Not that they he had anything... He head, was he? He was paying overall. No, I'm totally fine with killing him. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's 200 ahead for the Lawbringers or mm. alive, or, or 300, but 300 each to Torgak, dead or alive. Oh, oh. 200 ahead. Oh, well, never mind. Money is. Yeah, so, so it is more money. It is more money. It's 300 each. As opposed oh, it's to 300 money. each. Right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I didn't do it for those reasons. And yeah, you can absolutely toss, toss his head over. Cool. Kind of lands over here. Nice. Pretty quite small. Uh, Howland is going to attack you, though. Of course. But you've got him marked as harried, because he is. I just make sure I'm not accidentally still got some other modifier on. <laughs> Missed you. <laughs> Right. So the thugs. I actually forgot to declare what they were going to do. Um, so they're going to carry on with what they did last round. First one gets you, Mindy Lau. Do you have a void blow? I most certainly do. I've got two steps in it, no less. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, uh, yeah. I need to be an 11. And I roll that from talents and skills, where it is. Yeah. I no, don't beat an 11. Didn't avoid the blow. No. Ouch. So you take five damage after armor. Ouch. This thug is going to throw another sling at Sol. Nope. This thug is going to throw another sling at Thorndorf. I'm not throw a sling, obviously. That'd be weird. Might be why he's sling <laughs> like oh, throw, throw, throw a rock. <laughs> Naked gun moment, right, when they run out of bullets. <laughs> Thank you, I have a sling. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> And we go to Perth. Excellent.
bitey bites. Oh, I was killing it. I was attacking. Oh, I forgot oh. to target. Sorry. I'll That's quickly okay. target Sorry. now. Um. Do you want me to roll that again? Uh, no, I can quickly look up what it is for harried. Find the right bit on the table. Situation modifiers. Harry, minus two defense modifier, you still don't hit. Hmm, okay. Thorndorf. Right, so I am going to move... Here. Which makes Howland no longer harried. And I am going to stab that thug who keeps hitting me. Yeah. Because I can't hit a Zoak to Don't so forget to change your targeting. Yep. Yep. Mm. Apply damage. Okay. Yeah. Sinking your dwarf sword, is it? Yep. Deep into his thigh as you step over. He tries to kind of get away, but you just get a hack down into his thigh. Big slice out of his leg. Mindy Lau. Fantastic. I didn't um, tell you about any movement. Do I, can I still have the option to move now that I've seen Thorndall move? You can, yeah. You've still got a thug in front of you that is up, though. Because one's unconscious, but if I was to move here, I'm still not leaving his... Yeah, there's vicinity. no opportunity attacks anyway, so you could... Can... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've just tried to move, and I'm literally moving everyone. Yeah, we've had that. We had that. Oh. Yeah before. Hang on then. Hang on. So I've moved up. Oh, I'm now on. Stop, stop moving things. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Let me sort everybody no, out. They, if you move, move the thugs there, back. Yeah. 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 You're moving to there. Yeah. And we're all good. Yeah. Fantastic. So I've targeted the one that I'm about to hit. Just see what I said there. That I'm about to hit. I'm that confident. Nice. <sighs> And we'll go with this. Nice. And <laughs> oh, wow. nice. Ow. Yeah, go on and apply that damage. You got two sixes there. Nicely done. Yeah. Is it? There we go. Ooh. <laughs> That's amazing. He is dead. It's furious windling. Absolutely dead. Uh, how did you kill him? Uh, I literally want to get get the claw and just rake his neck, like so. It's just a shower of blood, and just like our head lolling backwards and forwards. Right. Not actually decapitated, but just held on with like a flap of neck skin at the back. Kurgan style. <laughs> like you've turned him into a Pez dispenser. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'll push him backwards as I'm covered in blood. Nice. <laughs> Brutal. It's canon now. Pez dispensers are a thing in Bar Sage. So, you up. Oh, I'm you gonna, gonna uh, earth start. start, yeah. Start. Is the person who I was targeting the one that um, he just killed? Yeah, but you can, you can switch your target. So there's. Um, Howland over here, or we of the other two thugs. Um, hmm. Go for Howland. Okay, so target Howland. Um, yep. And cast. He's harried again, isn't he? Sorry. Oh, he is. Hang on, bear with me. Bear with me a second while I make him harried. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Because I'm totally up in his business. Yep, go for it. Oh, has he got its own difficulty already there? Um, I don't know, I can't see your sheet. The difficulty of seven on there? Yep, that sounds right. Cast. 
Nice. <laughs> and click on effect for the damage. Mm. Nice. And should be able to click on apply damage. Howland is dead. Brilliant. Good. Mm. Good riddance. <laughs> and Makari is now dead as well. So we go to the next turn. The thugs look terrified. The two remaining various thugs look terrified and are both making to bolt out the doors behind them. Uh, let's go. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to... Um... Oh, I'm just going to get another start ready. I'm going to start weaving. Um, I'm going to weave an extra thread. Um, increase the effect. Oh, plus two oh. Nice effect there for the death. Right. So you're going to weave, weave again, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do I have to weave twice? No, but you, you need to you need to weave this. We've cast the spell, so you need to weave the thread again. Oh, sorry. You need to yeah. weave a thread to every time you cast it. Yeah. I'm not press weave. You've just rolled thread weaving. Yeah. It's fine then, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you just got a yeah. nice success. I'll take that as your result when we get to your turn. Okay, great. Thank you. Sorry, this was just an intention bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, Thorndor. I'm going to keep in base combat with a thug in front of me, assuming I can move that fast if he runs, and stab him again. Okie doke. Ashulian. I'm just going to charge after uh, the one that hurt Thorndor. Right, okay. Unless, of course, yeah. he kills him beforehand, in which case I'll change course to the other one. Yeah, I'll yeah. be lost. So don't fucking <laughs> but you're not. Uh, you're not, no. Oh. Um, and Mindy Lell and Perth. We're both going to go for various thugs over here, and we're yeah. going to slap him up. Which is a technical term in combat. Yes. It is indeed. It is indeed. Okay, and um, yeah, the thugs are going to run away if they can. Oh, so, uh, that's so Perth, Perth is up first. Fantastic. So Per has got... Move. Have more than sufficient movement. Yeah. Uh, I've just tried to move Per and everyone moves again. I want to move Per to here. So try try for me on an empty space of the map, left clicking and dragging for a little square. So left click. I'm and releasing. Okay. <gasps> Yay! Nice no, I think had all of them selected. I must have done. Look yeah. at that. That gives yep. me joy. Fab, Target. we're gonna. We, I've already targeted, so. This is I've had four sons and they were all named various. Yeah, well, it just made Christmas cards easier. <laughs> <sighs> Go on! Uh, nice. Yep. We're doing tours this time. But I bet really they've got much, but... no. Yeah. Scratch, scratchy, scratch, scratch. Scratching his armor. Soul. <laughs> so oh, you, you... you will give a thread. Yeah, I'll take that thread weaving. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so you've what? Yeah, you're woven the thread <laughs> for Earth Gods. Fondor. Okay. Um, since he hasn't moved, I will try and hit him. Oh. Nope. Just, just fix the first step just as you go after him. Uh, Mindy Lau. Fantastic. So I will come here. Still targeted. Yep. And we are going to go all in for a claw shape in the soft bits. Oh, the terrible fail. 
Yeah. Excuse me, unfortunately, that's a miss. But you've got him surrounded. Yes. Uh, Try using your sling now, slobber chops. Okay. He's going to make a run for it. What's his movement? 12. Two, four, six. So he leaps up over the bed. And he is going to... But they haven't got an armed attack in here, have they? No. So that's just straight strength. Is at the boarded up window completely ineffectually. Oops. The other one is also going to do the same. And he's also got a wound, so this isn't going to go well for him. <laughs> yeah, they are both completely ineffectually battering at the boarded up window. Let's go, let's go, we're sorry, we're sorry. Uh, just to Shoot. check, declared I was going to move. That doesn't count because he moves after my gun. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. lost. I stomp forward, squelching onto the corpse of Howland. Uh, I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pounding through. <laughs> You've got. You. 20 feet of movement. No, I'm have. using my action, aren't I? So oh, yeah. My okay. movement of yeah. 10, and that then lets yeah. me. Yeah. So, yes. But, I do. yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I put pounding through and I say, You have one more chance to surrender, or I take your head. Got the control axe whirring around in the air above my head. Probably flicking. Makari's blood all over the place. I do so. Okay. Half a dead cell axe stuck to my foot. Yeah. Going to the next round, um, the two thugs are are giving up. Basically, they they both tears running down their, their faces. We're sorry. We're sorry. We didn't mean it. We're sorry. We were just like blabbering, blabbering. Um, the one in front of you, Julian, is basically dropping to his knees. Oh, please don't kill me. And the other one's just curling up on the bed and crying. Um, Julian, what are you going to do? I'm going to wait to see what Thorndor does and support him utterly if he wishes to skin this one. Okay. That's it. I'll, I'll walk out of the room, close the door behind me, and stand in the way of anyone who wants to come in through. Literally. Okay, Thorndor. What's, what's your plan? Yeah, I'm not going to skin that one, but I will probably skin another one later. Right, I'm gonna go to the door in that we took and uh, stand guard and see if there's any way to kind of shut it so that we, you know, aren't gonna get ambushed again. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, can I change what I said? Go on, man. Because uh, there are stairs down that what I saw when I was fighting Makari. And I would quite like to be a checking that space. So, can I drag the one who surrendered to me out with me? And then. Yeah. Cool. Thank yeah. You. Uh, Mindy Lel. So, I will be saying to Thug on the bed, You better come out here. We need to ask you some questions. We'll probably let you live. But you need to come out here now. And salt. Um, you know, I um, think Dol may have been getting a bit blood bloodthirsty, a bit power crazy. Um, but he's gonna just. Shame to waste that wave of thread, right? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> um, well, the thug from the bedroom is gonna be coming out as an open target very shortly. He's alive at this point. Can you just. Oh, the, the, two thug, the two thugs, the one in the kitchen and the one in the bedroom. 
Okay. I'm just gonna... I just hold my action and cast the spell, finish the sting as they emerge. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so that essentially, if they're giving up, um, Sol's the only one who's taking an aggressive action, so I'm going to take us out of initiative at this point and just let Sol take a, take a shot on one of the thugs. Um, one of them is being about, right? I've got yeah. him basically off the floor by the scruff of the neck walking along <laughs> um, I'm not judging their lifestyle but they appear to have one pad and there's quite a lot of them we don't know what's downstairs though <laughs> this is true but um it could be a okay, so they dungeon. Are, yeah, they are, they are brought out. Julian, feel free to move yourself yeah. into the room. Um, was, hmm. So target whichever one you're going to target and shoot it. Which um, one's come out with this, Julian? I won't target that one. This one. Yeah. I, I mean, so can, he's, he's a static target, sort of dangling. <laughs> okay. I don't I'm just going to go for the other one. Okay. Oh, kind of looked like you were going to... Live, so I might, my spell might not even work. Yeah. Right. Well, that's an easy I mean, answer. You, you, you put the shits up him as this earth dart slams past him as he comes out the door. Well, I gave up! I gave up! I, I, look, I've, I've given up! I've given up! And he sags to the floor in front of Mindy Lau. And they're both mm. completely abject terror at this point. I'm sorry, we're sorry! Mm. Yeah. Battle's over. We only wanted to talk. Oh well, at least that horrible squirt and his bird are worth more to us dead than alive. Never mind. <laughs> Should we look downstairs? Let's ask the door first. Oh. Yeah, you can close the door, you should be able to click yeah. on them. So, thugs, what's downstairs? Uh, just a, it's like a storeroom, basement. There's, there's stuff down there. There's, there's stuff what we, what we've nicked down there. Let's have a look then. I say, taking the one and holding him in front of me and plodding down the stairs with him in front. So, if there's a trap or something, using yeah, him like a no human trap. shield. There's half a dozen boxes and sacks full of various gear that has been stolen um, if you want to have a look through it you can certainly take a bit of time to look through it all see what's there uh, once I'm sure that there's no danger downstairs I've gone after the shooting I'll come back up and fetch the head of the um... Makari yeah Makari and then I'll uh, take the wings of the Zoak out of sight of Per. Well, he's not, you know, <laughs> working. <laughs> Mindy Lowe, what are you doing in this time? So myself and Per are going to keep an eye on the thug. Yeah. We're going to keep an eye on the thugs. Um, I'm proper vigilant mode. I'm also going to support Mindy Lowe in the guarding. Cool. I'm doing it. Are you questioning them, questioning them at all or guarding? Um, I think we'll wait for Ashulian and Thorndor. So I mean, only hear only one of them are with you because I've still got the other one. I'm not putting uh, him down. It's, uh, uh, we'll... He doesn't weigh very much and I've forgotten. But, mm. <laughs> oh, looking through, poking. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you've still got one of them with you, yeah. Yeah, we'll wait till um, Ashulian and Thug the First return us. <laughs> Okay, uh, just a very quick breakdown of stuff. This is the. Am I getting right in thinking this is the kind of stuff that um, has been stolen from caravans and merchants and things? Yeah, a lot of a lot of it is stolen from caravans and merchants. Some clearly from houses. You know, um, not very good quality silverware. Some places, candlesticks, um, tapestries, rugs. A few bolts of cloth, food, there's quite a bit of food there. Um, and you do find 
I'm assuming you're going through everything pretty thoroughly. You do yes. find in, in one of the sacks a um, set of uh, hang on, blood pebbles. Ooh, is that a living armor? It is, yes. Oh, very nice. Mmm. I, 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 I turn Thug to look at me, shake him a bit and say, did your life rock never tell you taking things from others is wrong? Shake, shake. <laughs> Will you I, learn your lesson? Shake, shake. I'll, I'll try. I'll try, Mr. Honestly, I will. Um, I ain't never known no other way, though. Uh, when, you're, when you're born with nothing, you kind of want to take it where you can, haven't you? I don't know what a life rock is. Oh, that's right. You come from other funny creatures like yourself. Weak and fleshy. Uh, hmm. Well, I will act like life rock for you then if you wish to change your path. Oh, okay, okay, mister. Fine. Thank, First thank thing, you very much. bring all this stuff up the stairs and we will look at how what we do with it. All of it? All of it. This is the can, first can step to repent. If he is also committed to right thinking from now on. Well, I'm letting you live. We'll ask him. I will. But you stick start. Donk. <laughs> I'll pick up the pebbles and look at them very excitedly. Mm, some kind yeah, of living a, rock it's thing. A, it's, a, it's a set of blood pebble armour. You would have to pay an armourer to... Um, put them on, essentially install them, um, <laughs> fit them. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. tickles. <laughs> to graft them, on, them onto your skin. Right. Not tattoo um, them or yeah. paint them on. No. Might ruin that very nice painting I've got on me. Yes. No, uh, I'll, I'll turn to Thorndor, who obviously was watching me try to educate this. <laughs> If you agree, Thorndor, I think he should have chance to make good. If not, I simply squash him like annoying flying creature upstairs. Uh, I, 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 honestly, I'll help you, and I'll, if if you promise not to turn us over to them lawbringers or or, or Torgak, then then I'll, I'll help you. I'll do what you want. Oh, I thought you wanted to live and make a better life for yourself. Yeah, yeah, if, if that's what you're saying. If, if you're not going to turn us over to the law, like... How can you live a better life if you do not make... recompense? Well, I ain't helping you if you're just going to turn me over to the law. Hand out, grab him, pick him up off the floor again. All right. <laughs> Stomp up the stairs. <laughs> So as, I'm a very literal-minded creature. As a Shulian comes up the stairs, um, I'll ask as Mindy and Lel, what was down there? What was down there? Stuff. Other people's stuff. And this nice-looking red blood pebble thing. He does not want redemption, so he cannot make amends for his misdeeds and will just have to go to the Lawbringers without a clear should, conscience. Donk. Should the... That nice rocky armor go to its its original owner. Mm, if we find who that is, yes. But it is very pretty. I'm sure, the owner won't mind if it stays on you until we find them. Mm, we should at uh, least ask. I wonder if we show some mercy and and let these two go if they tell us the what we need to know and can make a solemn promise that they'll try and do better. Feel we, the fates have, have willed it. Um, perhaps it was the universe that stayed my hand last attack. The one you've been watching, Mindy Lowell, looks up at you as, uh, yeah, I, uh, we know where, we know where his, where we know where his book is. If we show you where his book is and you let us go, then we'll, Honestly, we'll leave Haven straight away. We'll be gone. I got, I got a cousin. I got a cousin in Iopos. So I'll go to there. I'll take, I'll take Charlie here with me. Honestly. Thundor, Julian, what say you? I find 
I'm inclined to look at this book and agree. I think we have better things to do than play nursemaid to a couple of ineffectual bandits. Mm. I do have the responsibility of teaching patience to that rude elf heir. Perhaps being life rock, surrogate life rock to this one is too much for me. Mm. You should change your life or you end up like that. And I point to the mess on the floor that used to be Makari. Honestly, we we, we we was made to do it anyway. Show us the book. All right, and he, he goes um, into the kitchen and this I'll log go with pile him. here. Yeah. Moves the log pile out the way, and there's a there's a couple of loose floorboards that he pulls up, and inside is a book, a tome. Not really a tome. Ooh. It's more of a diary. Um, oh. And it has this symbol on the cover. Ooh. <laughs> Well, I don't know what that means. And it's it's packed full of very tight, dense, uh, windling writing. I can read windling. That someone can, because I can't. So, mm. what does it say? Having a look in through it, it's, having a look through it, it's Makari's kind of ledger of jobs done. Um, with a little bit of kind of investigation, you could probably find out where the all the goods that are downstairs came from. Mm -hmm. But turning to the latest entries, they are all concerned with theft of map pieces. They detail when the maps were taken and where they were taken from. That does not say anything about how they were taken or where they are now. It's evidence. Is there an entry about this very shiny, pretty rocks? Um, if you want to, if you want to look for it now, so you can either do it in downtime, and I'll give you the answer, or you can have a roll to look for it now, Mindy Lel. Um. I'll have a look and see what I can see. So let's have a perception check, please. And I'm going to give you a... Because it's there's quite a lot in there. So I'm going to mm -hmm. give it a difficulty of... Um, so you're a novice. Four. So I'm going to give it eight, just into the hard category. Okay. Oh. Can I assist in a perception there check? There you go. Oh, oh doesn't need um, it. He's rolled it anyway. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, a little bit of searching, but you do you do find it, and it was taken from a um, a caravan that was out just outside of Par Length, um, a merchant caravan heading to Par Length. Doesn't say who was on the caravan just says that they killed them all I'll turn around to a shulian there's a great windling saying finders keepers losers weavers and the mm -hmm. losers wet blood they're all dead all of them every single one the entire like caravan was killed like wagon. so uh, the armor is officially open to ownership uh, under windling rules Oh. Welcome to your new armour. Mm. What did we say last week about Windling being flying Kenda? <laughs> <laughs> they never steal anything. It just falls into their pouches. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we would have they? to have a concept of property to steal things. Quite. Mm. Windlings have got very high moral... Fiber. I'll have you know. I, 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 I look at the two. Fiber. They were part of murdering a caravan of innocent traders. It feels as though this should go then to somebody who will give 
restitution and retribution for evil deeds. Mm. I think that's you, Etudian. Mm, thank you, Medillo. Mm. The ledger says it all. He's grumbling quite loudly, like soft growling at the the two. I, I, I would definitely be I would definitely be changing my vote if we had found the book first. So yeah, so it's it, well, so it's up to you. You can either let them go, kill them, or take them to one of the law enforcement agencies. It, they definitely is it is it for certain it, that they do not they know? They protest their innocence about that particular job. Of course they do. Right. I'm willing to take a leap and wing of faith. They've seen how easily we beheaded their friend and turned their other friend into a Pez dispenser. <laughs> You'll be next on our lists if there's any fiendishness. What Do you know anything more about the map pieces? Anything that's not in this journal? Uh, no, no, we weren't, we weren't even on that job. Un honestly, we weren't on that job. Makari did that job by himself. He Who just said he just said for? somebody had hired him to do it. Who? He said some some geezer had hired him to do it. Definitely a man. He said it was a bloke. What name give a race? He he, um, he didn't say. Look um blankly at uh, Thorndor um and casually walk, stroll over to where uh, the head of Macari's lying strewn in the the floor. I pick it up by the air entrails, um, bring it back to Thorndor. I say, um, this goes beyond um, every fibre of my being's um, inclination, um, but I believe we are need, in need of your other and savoury expertise, Thorndor. Please do us the honours with the unliving well I already thought of that but unfortunately it's beyond my power but if we bring the um, body with us it may not be beyond the blind woman's Gehenna mm. what's her name? Chandra Chandra Chandra, Chandra. Chandra it may be beyond Chandra's ability so I suggest we uh, pack him to go. Yeah. So I just um, mount the head on my um, waist waistband next to my grimoire um, in a small pouch, and I ask Julian if you will do us the honours. Mm. Yes, of course. Car carrying Carry. the corpse. Do you? Are you... <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah. Weighs very little. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, us. Mm. We left Mingle really... now. <laughs> and let's let's let these two go let's... and carry them off. Really? I think we should give them to the lawbreakers. We'll get enough for the ones that are dead. Oh, it's not the money. I think we should give the journal to the lawbringers, because that might be something they might be oh, interested in. Mindy, though, I will agree if you can paint their faces so that we can show the lawbringers them. Then we can tell them. And if these two ever set foot near Par Lane Thor Haven again. They can soon find out what it feels like to be hung up like this, with a rope instead. Of I am I'm very skilled. Hand. I'm you very skilled indeed. at painting. I look down at this incredible artwork, and I just—it's very impressive. I'll go and just dab some of the blood off with with my little windling handkerchief. There's also another possibility of Julian. Um, I could mark them. Ah. Oh. Tattoo them on their head with murderer. Mm. Put a little M on there. That might make their chances of doing the right thing more difficult in the future. 
in my experience, these, those who have done monstrous things continue. That is the nature of the criminal. Mm. Yeah, sorry, Damien, I was reading my spells right. I don't have one to commune with the dead, yeah? Because I checked no, Bone no. Circle, but it seemed wrong. Yeah, okay. um, no, there's... There are ways of summoning the spirits of, of specific dead name givers. They're not... They're more in summoning than they are in spell magic. Um, it's, it's possible, but it's definitely beyond your ability. Yeah, that's what I thought, so... Chandra yeah. is. Soul and so you're, Dawn Door. You're tattooing the two survivors. Oh, now we're passing Mindel Elves for the Right, okay. So I'll, like, okay. I'll do their portraits and we can hand that to the Lord Givers. Okay. And we, we can show the book to the. Um, to the different kind of groups to show the evidence that that the JTs were indeed involved in the theft of the maps uh, and see where we go with your great idea, Thorndor, of getting Chandra to interrogate the corpse. One question before you let these thieves go. Is there a wagon or cart near here. Oh yeah, you can find you can find a, a cart. Let's load it up with all the stuff and I shall be the pat I shall be the draft horse. Uh, the 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 two rapscallions uh, thank thank you very much. We're we're gonna leave now. We're gonna we're gonna pack up and we're gonna go now. We're gonna pack, leave. Pack up. Well like we're gonna go I mean, it was a idiom like a, a phrase mm. like we're packing up and getting out but we haven't actually got anything to pack up I'll give them each a tav but no weapons they for their no weapons yeah for their journey they can have a tav each I'll take it off my inventory cool so I'm you know the quality of mercy I mean, do we seize any good quality weapons from them? No, they've got fairly shitty knives. I mean, they had slings, things. for God's sake. Like, yeah. Are you sure a weapon, so? Oh, I don't think our elementalists really use um, melee weapons, ranged ones. So you pack up, you pack up all the stuff. The the two upscallions. Gutter off into the small somewhere. Um, maybe never to be seen again. Or maybe I've just we'll just have to create two new NPCs. <laughs> um, yeah, that, to all intents and purposes, they they disappear and are gone. You make your way back into Haven to Trident Keep, which is the headquarters of the Lawbringers. No strongest arm. Apologies. Where you'd agree to meet the heads of all of the other adventuring companies. Everyone's there. Um, uh, when you can't walk in, Nivek greets you. Welcome, welcome. Come in, come in. We've, we've been further discussing, you know, our working together going forwards. Uh, you know, you have, you have ushered in this new age of cooperation between all of us. And most of them look happy. Um, so, Nivek, Onius, Norgut, Zaley, uh, Bosalin and JT and Grisha are all quite pleased. Um, Air, Alora, um, and Dosia and Berman don't look particularly pleased. Dosia's joined them. Oh, yeah, Dosia's there now as well. So the the heads of all the adventuring companies are there. The the senior adepts of all the adventuring companies are there. Mm. You describe what happened. Hand over the the book. I take it. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll happily share. I think we need to show them the evidence. I'll yeah. point out to Dosia the particular passages 
around the map. I will show the head and body of Makari and say, but I need them to give to Torgak as a apology for thinking him he was guilty of things. This was okay. very un okay. annoying creature. I did have a See. wonder if Gehenna... Is it Gehenna? Chandra. 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 God. <laughs> if Chandra might perhaps be able to uh, interrogate him, he did... The journal does speak and the... Uh, of him meeting and being hired by a man, but there is no uh, details. Yeah. So, to wrap up this this little adventure, essentially, um, information is shared. The adventuring companies are very, very grateful for your for your help and for your particularly your help solving at least what's happened to the maps even if they haven't been found yet, um, both for your help in bringing them together, bringing Makari to justice. Over the next couple of days, Chandra does indeed um, do some summoning rituals and manages to speak with Makari's spirit, who, upon interrogation, um, was hired by a hooded and masked figure. He thinks it was human, um, but is not sure it was male, Poss probably human. Um, but has absolutely no knowledge or idea of leaving any evidence at any of the crime scenes. It's quite adamant that he wouldn't have left any evidence at any of the crime scenes, because what do you mm. think I am, some kind of idiot? Um, mm. So that's, that's essentially wraps up the, everything that can be found out from that, from that point of view. For now, you Excellent. each get... So, handing over the log earns each character 200 legend points and 200 silver. Mm. That's silver tabs, isn't it? Tabs, yeah. Um, handing over... Sorry, how many, how many legend points? 200, did you 200 say? 200 of each, yeah, 200 of each. Handing over Makari to Torgak earns you 300 silver each. And 100 legend points. We're supposed to be logging these somewhere. Oops. Yeah, on your character sheet, on... Inventory? Um, notes and legends. The last page, notes and legends. Oh. And tabs so and inventory, have... yeah. So add them to your, your current and your total. Alright, so how many legend points again? So 200, 300 in total. Okay. 300 and, legend uh, points in total and 500 silver. Okay. This is silver. Is the currency recorded? Oh, that's on inventory. And it's, it's on it's tabs. tabs with silver. Yep. So 300 you... current, um, 500 in total. What are you saying? For legend points, it's 500 current, 500 total. Because you've probably got 200 already, haven't you? Yeah. 300 current, 500 total. Okay. Depends on whether you yeah. spent your spent. Ah, uh, yes, yes, or. yes. Yeah. Oh, I you think I have... did spend mine. Yeah, you did. You did. Mm. Yeah. Remind me, Daniel. You Damien. also. Sorry. Sorry, just just one more no, thing. No, no, you sure, also. Sorry. Um, so membership of the companies and your standing within the companies essentially works on com on company points. So you all get plus one company point with Torgak. But we're handing over Bakari. Um, and you also get um, plus one company point with each of the adventuring companies and membership in the company of your choice, should you wish it. So, one where do we log these? I'm just putting it in notes. Put it in notes, I would. Okay. And so, and again, one please. company. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Karen. Can you just repeat that again for us, please, Damien? Yeah, you get so you get one company point with Torgak and all of the adventuring companies, and one company point. Uh, sorry, a membership of the company of your choice, should you wish it. Uh, I'm 
I'm just going to put all this in here. I, Excellent stuff. I choose to remain not aligned to any company, but wishing to be friends with all. I know that this does not allow me to have certain advantages, but has been seen. Sometimes it is useful to have a neutral party. I will remain that, whether my friends wish to join me in that or not is for them. Then how much um, gold have you got again, Tavs, and all that? So um, you've just gained five hundred each. Yeah, five hundred Tavs each. So we are about time to take our break. Okay, so we've picked up from our break, and we have just before the break distributed legend points and uh, tabs to the player characters. So legend points can be spent to improve your talents. They can also be spent to improve attributes, um, so on and so forth. Um, but mainly they use for at this at this circle for improving your talents. It costs a lot more to improve an attribute, but obviously if you improve an attribute, that's going to increase all of those talents and skills that use that attribute by the same amount. So it kind of is cost effective, but I think at this point we're more interested in our talents. Am I right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I think the talents so, are the gate gateway to leveling up the circle. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so you have to reach the second circle you need to have all of your five i think it's five discipline talents at rank two mm -hmm. to then to then be able to train for the next circle it's not an automatic improvement to the next circle it takes time and it takes money uh, you have to you have to pay somebody of your discipline essentially to train to the next circle improving the talents just costs legend points because it's kind of it's meant you essentially you spend eight hours meditating for each talent you want to increase remembering your training remembering your your core kind of discipline understandings and then you and then you increase that talent rank uh legend point wise to take a talent from rank one to rank two costs 200 legend points from rank two to rank three costs 300 legend points probably don't need to go any further than that at the moment. I don't know if anybody's planning on any rank. But you obviously have to buy each rank in between. So if you wanted to go from rank 1 to rank 3, it would cost you a total of 500. So I, uh, I'm going to spend 300 to increase melee weapons because I've been using it. And it makes sense to me that that would be what would then go up. So I'm going to go up to rank 3 in that. <laughs> to hopefully not suck quite so much at hitting things. Um, if that's all right. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Sol, do you know what you're going to improve at the moment? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to level all my talents up, but I think I um, need to get everything to rank two, don't I? So, as a... Elementalist? You're an elementalist, aren't you? Mm hmm A thread weaving is at rank two. My spell casting um, is at rank three already. So your discipline talents are awareness, pattern craft, spell casting, thread weaving, and wood skin. Yeah, versatility. All of those need to be at rank two. Versatility yeah, is from being a oh, human. Racial, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, to, to take one of these up, it's going to cost 200 legend points, right? From rank one to rank two. Yeah. It's one of them. Oh, mm, wood skins, no. Spell casting, no. Weaving's where it needs to be, I think. Um take my awareness up because I think that's probably has the most um, application in and out of um, battle so if I put that on rank 2 then yep. go on to notes and ledger not notes and ledger yes and then I put my current LP down to 100 yeah <laughs> and you, you could use that 100 to buy versatility at rank 1 Oh, do you but all that, that all that would mean would mean you could you could then buy a talent with more legend points in the future you could buy a talent from outside of your discipline. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll can, keep. You... Yeah, I'll keep it because I'm sure. Um, you know. Um, 
just want to. I don't want to spread myself too thin at this point. I think I want to just. Fair enough. Specialise rather than yeah. Specialise, yeah, yeah. Yeah, versatility is one of those things that, that humans get because they are more versatile um, mm. within this setting, and yeah. it does allow you to learn other talents. So you could, learn, for instance, learn fire blood um, as a talent if you wanted to, or or some, you know, any any other talent. Um, yeah, yeah. But it is. It does obviously at the cost of specialisation, right? So, yeah. Mm. Uh, Thorndor, what are you thinking uh, about? So, um, my specific discipline talents, presumably, are spell casting, thread weaving, pattern craft, yeah? Astral uh, Storm. Let me just have a quick look. So I to have six. First circle, Astral Sight, Frighten, Pattern mm -hmm. Craft, Spell Casting, and Thread Weaving. So you've got enough to put two of those up to rank two, haven't you? So avoid blow is the one that you took as an option, right? Yeah, I've only got yeah. 300 left. So I used 200 the first time. Right. Yeah, it's not actually going to help my circle, but I do want to take Avoid Blow, so I'm going to take that up to rank 2, I think. Yeah, so so going up a circle means, that means that you can, you then have access to your discipline talent of the next circle, because you get, you get access to one more discipline talent each circle you go up. Um, if my PDF would behave itself and stay where I want it to. Um, Second circle for another man, so it also means you get to add plus one to your Mystic Defense. So there are there are other bonuses as you go on. Um, third circle so. for another man, so you can spend a Karma point once per round on any test against a horror, horror construct, or undead target, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I think I need to stay alive in order to get yeah, to that yeah. point. So for the, yeah, yeah. For the weapons with the third circle. For the weaponsmith at third circle of Julian, you get to spend karma on recovery tests. <laughs> can already spend so I take. can already spend karma on fire blood, so you can, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mindy Lau. Um, Mindy Lau. So I so I was looking at my talents um, options. I've already got level two in avoid blow. I've already got level two in claw shape. That gives me joy. Yeah. I've already got um, animal training. I've got um, I've got the skill animal training, not the talent. Would I need to put? No. So your your five discipline talents are avoid blow, mm -hmm. claw shape, thread weaving, unarmed combat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. I was. It's been a long day. So I have um, avoid blow and claw shape at level yeah. two already. I was thinking I might well bump up um, unarmed combat to level two. And then could I sling claw shape to level three? That would be 500 points. You could, yeah. I think I'll do that. Yeah, absolutely. That gives me a lot of joy. Uh, yeah, I, so I might, with my experience of, of playing and running Earth Dawn, like racing to the next circle isn't a major necessity. It's not like some other systems where it's all about the leveling up. It's more about this kind of gradual rounding out and increasing mm. of of talents. I feel, um, and it is a slower progression than a lot of a lot of other systems. Maybe not all other systems, but certainly, you know, some that I can think of immediately, which seem to race you through to, like, fifth level. Mm. Um, yeah, I think, that, I think that's all, all a very wise use of your, of your um, legend points. Cool. I will knock off the legend points. Because it does, it does cost to um, advance in discipline circles um, it, it costs money and time basically because mm. 
because you have to pay for the trainer, which can be negotiated. But speaking of which, I need to pay for having the blood pebble armor fitted, and I think I have to pay a blood price as well as I read it. Uh, I think that's basically permanent damage. Yeah, so that's that's blood magic damage, essentially. Um, let me have a quick look. There you go. Uh, living armor. Oh, I think it's in the actual description, isn't it? Blood pebble. There you go. I've put it. Yeah, on blood the, pebbles in the chat. are a form of. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Should have yeah. said that more clearly. <clears throat> so yeah, four blood yeah, magic so, damage. So on your characteristics, you've got a blood magic section, which you should be able to ah. put four into. Yeah, it's automatically yeah. done it for me, even though I actually hadn't equipped it, so that's cool. Oh, and okay, then, it's done. And then I can, that's... I need to pay to have it equipped. Yeah, um, so the cost of Blood Pebble is, I think, 300 if that's you were it. buying it straight out. Yeah. If I remember rightly, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's call it 150. Can I try and haggle that? Because it seems like half price, half the price when I'm providing the actual rare and difficult to come by part. 100. Ooh, okay, thank you. I'm very pleased by that because I thought you were going to make me roll for it. <laughs> I was picking numbers out of thin air and just seeing if you were happy with them. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good call. Oh, hag haggling with the GM. Thank you, I am happy. Thank you. Damien, I've just realised I can't do what I said I was going to do. I had 300 legend points, not 500. I got 500 tabs. So I can only move my claw shape from rank 2 to rank 3. Um, I can't right, do okay. my unarmed combat as well. Okay. So I'm gonna. Well, you can do your unarmed combat, but not your claw shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's the I same like number of points as I had as well. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I, I, I got my tabs and thingies. Mm. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my claw shape at two, and I'm gonna do two things to level two because life is difficult. You only can only do one to level two, right? Well, with 300 points, I can move two to level two, because that's... Oh, no, I can't, no. 200. Yeah, yeah, ignore me. It's, again, not enough coffee. I'm struggling. So that's cool. My unarmed combat has moved to level two, and that leaves me 100 left. Okay. Fab. Thank um, you. My poor brain. So, yeah, with so without joining a company... Um, Basically, you can have access to, to training um, and buying their resources, but you don't get any discounts on any of that. You don't want to join any of the any of the companies. Mm. Um, mm. If you join a company, um, you have access to the company's resources, but you also get the appropriate discount. So yeah. you're then bound companies. to their name as opposed to being able to have one of your yeah. own. Yeah, and you have to take an, an oath of blood peace, uh, attend a meeting every month, um, and yeah, an oath of blood peace involves some blood magic. I think it's two off the top of my head, um, which obviously can't be healed. And if you break that oath, it manifests in a wound that also can't be healed for a year and a day. Yeah. I'm thinking about joining the conservatory because they had beast bastards and windlings. You don't. I mean, you don't have to make the decision now. No, I'm, no, not. I'm gonna. They would all welcome reflect. any of you as members. Uh, not the conservatory, and you think you mean the um, the last the chance? The gardeners. They were in the conservatory. The last that was their chance. Base. The grumpy. Um, yeah, windling. yeah, yeah. Now, the grumpy which... windling Garisha had the yeah, storm yeah. wolf. Yeah. Yeah, it can't be in the same um, the gardeners. adventuring group as Dosia because, you know, we'll be married soon. <laughs> you certainly fight like it. Am I able so to for... buy... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, so for clarity, 
the curators, if you join them, you get a 10% discount on blood charts, curators. and you don't have to pay library fees. Um, and they have an archer, a troubadour, and a wizard as their as their uh, mentors. The Last Course Caravan Company, 10% off average and unusual items and equipment. And they have a thief, an air sailor, and an illusionist. Lawbringers give you a 10% armor discount. And they have a warrior, a cavalryman, and a nethermancer. The gardeners give you 25% off healing aids and 10% off living armor. And they have an elementalist, a beastmaster, and a scout. And then the strongest arm, 10% off weapon costs. And they have a Sky Raider, a Weapon Smith, and a Swordmaster. Oh, I'm going to join the Gardeners as well, probably. Yeah, let's see how I feel after our next yeah. adventure. Uh, when not, I need healing. Um, you can also call, form your own company. Mm. Don't form your own group and swear blood oath to each other. I mean, that's brilliant, group. but... But for the purposes of learning um, skills and, um, you know, furthering ourselves in a discipline, I don't know how that would be advantageous. So the 10% discount on um, on training is certainly will certainly mount up after a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, Making your own name, though, comes with certain powerful benefits as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so you, you would create your own group pattern, which you could weave threads to. Yeah. So essentially, as part of the, part of the naming ceremony, <coughs> you all swear an oath of blood peace to each other. You all recite a certain thing and naming your company and you all you all have a you all bring an item to the to the ritual carved with the company's symbol and that is your pattern item for that group so then you can then weave threads to that pattern item which weaves it on so as long as you're acting you can weave a thread to kind of boost a talent or boost your physical defense or something whilst you're working with that group keep hold of the pattern items though because pattern items can be used against you, essentially. Getting hold of somebody's pattern item is quite a powerful thing. Uh, you're, you're already, although you haven't kind of... So, although it's not magical, your troll axe, Ashulian, is gradually becoming a pattern item as you use it more and more, because it's becoming more and more associated with you, as opposed to just a random troll axe. Yeah. Speaking of which, I want to forge it a second time because I can forge it up to twice and I only did yeah. it once for myself. So and you, you can also, because we're doing downtime, you can also all heal all of your damage and wounds because you can't actually increase the talent while you are, have any damage or wounds. Obviously blood magic is fine, um, but any other, any other damage or wounds, you need to be completely healed before you can improve your talents. Um, so you can either just reset the auto zero if you like, rather than rolling recovery tests. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, forge weapon we do, roll. Then? Yep. Um, so you're going to spend a week forging a weapon. Yep. My own axe. Yep. Uh, which I'll spend court karma on. What's the difficulty? The mystic defense of the weapon, which I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Um, let me have a look. Many weapons table. Might be. A troll axe, mystic defense. What was it? Hang on. What was it? The current damage step. Bear with us, viewers, while I have a quick look. Um, forge weapon. I guess the difficulty number of six plus the number of forge enhancements that it already has. Okay, so difficulty seven then. Yeah, because it's got one enhancement already, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, seven, and I will use karma. One. Oh, and I better make sure I don't have any negatives. Yeah, take all your wounds and <laughs> yeah. conditions off. 
believe I've done so. Nice. Two extra successes. But I can only take it up to two anyway. So. Yeah, because you've only got... Yeah. Restore my card. Um, There's enough time to do that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's... Unfortunately, you waste those extra successes. But nice roll anyway. It's very well forged. Maybe I put in some extra sort of... Uh, decorative work with the grip and that kind of thing just to make it look as impressive as it now is with its damage step of 10. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, in the week that Julian's doing that, does anybody else wish to do anything? Yeah, I was wanting to try and get some chain mail and sell my yeah. hide armour if that's possible. Yes, indeed. Um, I let you know that I have the skill to forge armor. Oh, craft armor. It's one of it's craft my, artistic, armor. my art, artisan skills, my artistic sort of thing. So I can yeah. try to make it for you if you would like me to, Dawn Dawn. But it would take more I time. Would, I would be honoured. I would wait for that. In that case, I will try and use my. Um, skills to work on the wings I took from the Zoak to try and make them into Grimoire pages. Can I do my artisan skill as well and do some rune carving because I can make runes? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's let's go with um, let's go with making this chainmail first of all because that's the first thing I heard. So because it's going to take a second way, week, right? It's going to take a second week. Yeah. Um, and because of the way we did your blood pebble, the raw materials were essentially two thirds of the cost. Yeah. So it'll cost you 120 tabs, as opposed to 180 for the raw materials. If it's, if you let Julian make it. Mm. If you're happy with that, I mean that's your time. Oh, yeah. of course. I'd be honoured. You're aware of the initiative penalty with Chainmail, right? 1d4 minus 4, so the only time I get better than 1 is if I <laughs> have an exploding yeah. dice, so it's not going to yeah. <laughs> make much odds, you know. Because uh, you're using a shield as well, aren't you? I mean, your, hard, your hardened leather, is it, you've got? Uh, hide. Hide. It gives me the one mystic, but... <laughs> Yeah, you can't, you can't really get anything for it. It's quite battle-worn by now. Um, Road. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's got loads of stab holes in it. What, what am I going to do with this? I'm like, gonna it's ventilation. It's ventilation. That's what it's for, isn't it? It has a line. Come on. So, just wondering on the difficulty on that craft armor roll. Uh... Yeah. I reckon it's I... average difficulty, right? But it's that. probably the top end of average difficulty. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've I, I mean, I have, I've had a go. Armor. I've been a, a, a medieval uh, reenactment. I know plenty of people who make armor, and I've had a go at making mail armor because there's no such thing as chain mail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, and it's basically yeah. Like proper riveted would be difficult or welded, but normal. It depends on the quality of it. So like any any of us could sit right now and make some, but if you wanted to do it properly with the riveting, that's quite a bit harder. So I'm going to give it a difficulty of six. That sounds fair enough. Because the, the range for average difficulty at novice circle is three to seven, so yeah, not quite the top, but towards the top. Uh, cool. Nice. Oh, you have a set of chainmail for 120 tabs. Mm, right, I enjoyed making 600 it. off, sorry. While he was doing that, Thorndor, what was it you wanted to do? I was going to prepare the wings for Grimoire pages from the Zoak and mount them right, okay. on my neck using my uh, tutu and stuff. Yeah, give me an artisan skill roll. Um, DC, let's say four. Mm. 
Wow. I mean, they look really good, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> you're like, look how good these wings look, and everyone's like, yeah, they're, they're very well mounted. Um, I'd like to show per You've, oh, you've tanned you them know. really well. Um, they look great. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fixed grins from people that you approach with. So, you had something you wanted to do? Um, I wanted to do some um, rune carving, which is my artisan skill. There's not a lot of information in the player's guide about how rune carving works. I'm trying to read it, there's nothing there really. So, so essentially, the artisan skills are there um, to show. The main purpose of them mechanically is to show that you're not horror marked, because yeah. it's believed that anybody who is horror marked loses all of their artistic abilities, their ability to create anything. Yeah, yeah. So, you, if so you're, did... what, what are you trying to carve runes for? Do you want to make trinkets to sell? Do you want to? I thought then I might. Your yeah, staff. I... Drop one. Have I got a staff? Do elemental sea staffs? I, I, did you did you buy a quarter staff? Um, no, um, I don't you don't have so. to use a staff, but I mean, what would my class use any weapons or like any anything to cast magic? Um, so you don't need anything. You don't need like a focus or components or anything to to cast magic in Earthstorm. Um, you don't actually have any weapon skills or talents, so you have unarmed combat. Um, so essentially, you, you could still use a weapon, you just don't have any skill in it, so it would use your raw strength. Okay. So it'd be the, be the same as, as just trying to punch something, but you mm. do different damage. So there's no penalty for using a weapon you're not trying to use. You just can't I obviously increase be any better with it than than standard. Mm. So um is, is there no so when I make these runes I'm just doing it to prove that I'm not a horror and yeah, there's but no there's so, no so, benefit so previously Thorndor previously Thorndor has done tattooing Thorndor and Mindy Laos have set up a little business painting and tattooing people. Um, to earn a little bit of money, um, you could certainly do that. Um, you could train a skill. You could. Let me. Lots of skills, hang on. This PDF's being annoying. Um, let me have a look. Skills, improving skill ranks. Um, you can also learn new. Well, you need to find a, somebody to teach you the spells. Um, so in, for, in you've got two weeks essentially, so you could learn two skill ranks in something for three hundred for a cost of three hundred tabs. Mm. Um, so you could learn how to use a sword in that time mm. if you wanted to, or you could improve your unarmed combat or any of your skills. You could improve your acrobatic defense. Would probably be a good one to do. Why don't um, I? Mm. So you could so to go from rank one to rank two would take two weeks and would cost you three hundred. To learn a new one would take one week and cost two hundred. Two hundred. I don't even have two hundred. I'll leave. I'll leave that for now. Didn't you have like five hundred tabs? Yeah, this, but this is not legend points. This is this is tabs. It doesn't cost you legend points to improve ta to improve skills. Oh, uh, only costs um, money. I've got five hundred. Okay, how much would it cost if I wanted to level up my um, training? I was thinking oh, I might do a level in acrobatic defense. <clears throat> do a level in. Um, do we ever use knowledge discipline law? What kind of instances might we use that in? You've used it, haven't you, with your kind of weird. I've used it once. Yeah. It's oh. it's gonna it's gonna take you two weeks to improve any one of those from rank one to rank two, when you've only got two weeks, so you can only do one anyway. Well, 
I'll just do acrobatic defense if that's okay. How much yeah. is that going to cost? That will cost you 300 tabs. Okay, I'll do that. And then you can change that to rank two. There you go. Lovely done. This is rank two. Um, and then I'll get rid of some of the money. Mindy Lau. I would like to be. Yeah, I would like to work with Garisha in the gardeners to move my animal handling from rank one to rank two. That's the skill, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Garisha teaches you a few new tricks. Um, what will that you know, charge me? You've got a Zoak, but some of yeah. the principles are the same. You know, roll over for the Storm Wolf is a barrel roll for the Zoak. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Gary, how many tabs, tabs was that? Was that 300 or 200? 300. 300, I think. Is it 300 for me as well? Yeah. There's no arrangement that can be made because we're both Beastmasters. Uh, if you want to join the prestigious Order of Gardeners, then yes. It would not cost yet. you 270. No, not yet. I'll just pay the... There we go. Oh, can I get any kind of armor for Per? No. Oh. I've got some um, part used. I don't know, I was a bit of a quick. I was a bit of a quick no there. Let me have a look. Um, like living armor. At, at worst, perhaps just, you know, a nice collar. It's a little waistcoat. <laughs> little uh, hides. <laughs> yeah. a, uh, a Zoax skin waistcoat made by Thorndorf. Gross. <laughs> Mm. Let me have a look on the mounts table. Not really a mount, but you know. Yeah, would be. Oh, well, that's just the cost of the various mounts. <clears throat> I mean, I'm gonna say it would. Uh, you know, I could see how it would impact manoeuvrability and lift and. Yeah. I'm... I'm gonna say. I need a magic collar. Perhaps fern weave, which is a living armor, mm. which means you'd have to water your zoac once a day. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any blood magic things to her just yet. Not yet. But I'll, I'm yeah. gonna look for a magical collar that will give an aura of protection. Let me just check Fernweave, because not I don't think all of them have the same blood magic cost. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, Fernweave. Yeah, there's no blood magic cost to it. But being watered once a day is a bit much. Living armor woven from deep forest vines and herbs. Fernweave is living armor that must be watered once every three days. If the armor is not watered, the magical properties of the herbs disappear, along with the mystic armor bonus this armor provides. Dormant fern weave, fern weave armor will revive if watered, even after a considerable lapse of time, centuries in some cases. Watering fern weave consumes one day's water ration. Could so while be... you're in town, not a problem. Could that be watered using... Um... Well, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I know where you're going with it. Graphic. Natural fluids. Yes. I don't think, yes, I don't think recycled waste. In, 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 in an obsidian <laughs> man's <laughs> case, we call it mineral water. I'm going to avoid <laughs> putting fern weave on <laughs> her for the moment. Uh, I, need, I need to play this and, and make an obsidian man called Evion. <laughs> 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 That's my brother, Volvic. Oh dear. I'm Volvic. I don't know, Vion. Mm. We are not sponsored by any water companies, incidentally. Not even Artisan. Not other, even. Other, other, other pricey bottled water is available. Uh, Fukukai, for example, let me just get in with them. They go and, like, carve off pieces of uh, icebergs. Mm. Yeah, we're sponsored. 
we would be sponsored by them if they, <laughs> if they want to. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. I've tasted it. It's the best water ever. Really? No, it tastes like water. <laughs> <It's> water. <laughs> I am partial to Evian, I'm not going to lie. Uh -huh. differences. I wondered well. where that conversation was going. I'm very yeah. glad. <laughs> let's, let's moving rapidly. Let's on. adventure quiz swiftly on. <laughs> I'm just saying, so mine, done for mine's got to. Any more shopping anybody wants to do? No, I'm good. I mean, I don't really know what I could buy, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I will say that. I'm okay. Oh, I probably need to get. Um, so, Dosia did beat me at hide and seek. So, I probably need to go and get her some kind of prize. I'll get her a potted plant. <laughs> okay. From the gardeners. Cactus. Like a nice one. And I'll just, like, leave it near, you know, like a little two Dosia. Well done on the win. Mindy Lel. Not actually give it to her, just leave it for her, right? <laughs> yeah, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you mean to, you'll have to go for a round two. <laughs> you arrive back at your lodgings one evening, and there's a little note slipped under the door saying, Thank you very much! And then, rather disturbingly, one under your pillow saying, No, I really mean it, thank you! <laughs> That's not disturbing. That's windling. <laughs> A couple of weeks have passed since your adventures with the maps, looking for the missing map pieces. And another job opportunity has come up. Name givers go missing in Haven with depressing regularity. Typically the lost are adventurers diving into the ruins, but sometimes the situation is more unexpected. Through the grapevine you heard about one such case. An elderly woman went missing, and her niece is desperately trying to track her down. The niece needs people willing to get their hands dirty, people who won't hesitate to ask difficult questions. She also needs people who won't cost her a fortune. You've agreed to a lunch meeting at the most popular watering hole in Haven, the Restless Troll. You arrive at the bar to find it bustling. Tylia, the eponymous troll, notices you above the crowd and nods her head to a booth at the back of the corner in the back corner. Seated there is a human woman with shoulder-length jet black hair. She wears faded leathers and a worn Espagra hide cloak. On her hip, a long dagger rests in a serviceable sheath. She's young, perhaps twenty years old. When you approach, her face changes from its grim demeanour to a put-on smile. She gestures for you to have a seat. Once everyone has settled in and had their orders taken, the woman heaves a sigh. <sighs> my name is Drusilla, and my aunt has gone missing. I need your help to find her. Dead or alive, I have to know what happened. Can you help me? The, the expression on the Shulian's face of confusion at the dead or alive comment, thinking... <laughs> And you all who know him by now are like, no, 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 he's, she's not saying bring, it's a bounty, bring her in dead or alive. Oh, yes. We can help. Tell us about your aunt. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Um, first of all, uh, Thorndor. I need to call you uh -huh. Torgak, then, but you're not Torgak. Um, Thorndor, could you... You know, I gave you that, um... That one unofficial yep. ranking streetwise for Haven. Give uh -huh. me a roll on that, please. So Charisma plus one rank. While he's doing that, uh, Ashulian turns to Sol and says, So, help me. What is aunt? Some kind of life rock related. That mother, yeah? A uh, step modifier. Yeah, step modifier. <laughs> 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 That's an entirely different channel. <laughs> no. Wouldn't be the short answer to that. <laughs> no, okay, cool. Cool. Um, yes, my, my aunt, um, my mother's sister, has gone missing. Uh, she's. She's old. Her name is Zemma. Zemma Caden. She's an elderly lady. She's pretty much infirm. I mean, she's 
I think she's seen at least 65 summers by now. Mm. Uh, she was she was resident at the at the arms house at Garland's Arms. I don't know if you know it. It's a um, it's a poor house where the less fortunate of Haven's folk end up. She ended up there a little while ago. Uh, she's fairly tall, as I am, bent over, elderly and firm. She walks with a stick. Uh, she's got reasonably long hair. It's grey now. Um, I have a drawing of her here. It shows you a picture of a elderly-looking lady, long grey hair, pretty nondescript. Um, but it's a it's a it's a decent drawing of whoever it is. You would be able to recognise this person from the drawing if you were to see them. Mm. Uh, she's she works when she when her hip isn't bothering her. She works for the curators uh, filing things. I think um, she attends their monthly meetings. And she wasn't at the last one, um, which was six days ago. She was absent from that last from that last meeting. The last time anyone saw her was eating dinner here um, about eight days ago. I'm I'm willing to pay for any information. I just I just need to find her. I need to to find out what's happened to her, whether that's good or bad. Um, I can I can offer you 100 silver each, but I would ask perhaps a bit of discretion if you wouldn't. If whenever you find out what's happened, if you could report your findings to me before anybody else, I would be greatly appreciated. Mm. Appreciative. What about the questions we ask? Us asking questions can sometimes involve not much discretion. I'll so. ask, ask, ask whatever you need of whoever you need to ask it, but. When you find out, when you find out her, what's happened to her, please just tell me first before telling anybody else. It's a private family matter. You know, I wouldn't want it all around Haven. I'd want to be able to tell other members of the family and her other friends before they hear it from some gossip on the street. Sure, we could ensure that no one else heard the news before you. Agreed. Uh, you can all give me an insight or a perception check, whichever you like. Perception. So, I will tell you, the insight difficulty is lower. Not awareness. No. Okay. Um, I don't have insight. Yeah, so, so insight is charisma based, unless you have any particular skills. Um, but it's a lower difficulty with the perception test. Mm. So my charisma's okay, higher, but I don't have insight specific. My charisma's lower than my perception, so I'll just go with perception. So you can, you can, roll, you can roll charisma. Yeah. It's yes. a, so essentially, mechanically how it works is perception is to notice something. Insight is opposed by her charisma. Okay, I'm rolling charisma for my insight check. Yep. I've got a four, which is unsurprising. I've got a two, I'm rubbish. I'll roll perception, see what happens. Yeah, I'll roll perception. Okay. Oh. Very good rolls, are they? Pundles isn't really bad. Shockingly terrible rolls. Pundles <laughs> was. Mm, oh, they're alright. I mean. Mm, yeah, anyway. Are they? Um, the noise. The restless troll is very busy and bustling around you. Uh, it's a bit. It's a bit of a weird environment to be in. You know, having this quite serious conversation with an upset young lady while revelry and frivolities are going on all around you. Uh, nothing really dampens the spirits of the restless troll, though. So one table of quite serious-looking name givers is not going to stop the party by any chance. Well then. You want me to do a charisma roll as well? 
Uh, no, you rolled perception, that's fine. It was an either or situation. Mm. Well then, we agree, I think, all of us, so shall we move to... Shall we... Should we try her lodgings, mm. first of all? Uh, yes, I, or perhaps, or perhaps there or, or the repository would be. Mm. Those are the only leads that I would have. Um, I, I, I'm, I've seen you about. I know that you know you're obviously doing this job for me, um, but I've, I have seen you about, so I know that you're kind of know the adventuring companies, oh, and know yes. Haven a little bit now. Um, so. Ooh. Whichever you think, whichever you think is best, however you want to carry out the investigation. I think the arms house sounds like a good starting point, but I have. I've still got us on this map, Mike. Uh, I've switched changed over to the Haven map because you still had us on the house map, so yeah, uh, okay, cool. awesome. Uh, Making me thirsty to show me the claim I had a, had a tavern, all set up, ready to go. <laughs> if she does filing for the curators, maybe she saw something that she shouldn't have. Hmm. Is there... Please tell me these human customs I find somewhat strange. Are there leg houses to go with the arm houses yeah those are different houses entirely ah yes, yes. it's like complete blank lack of understanding of the shit's face <laughs> all right so we said the arms house first the arms house yep yeah, indeed uh, so you make your way, let's go to the Haven map. Nope. Um, let's go to the Haven map. When you have two scenes both named Haven. <laughs> um, this one's actually named Haven map, so it's, I can't blame anybody but myself. So yeah, Garland's Arms is over here, which is in the new part of Haven. This has all been fairly recently built. Overall, the new neighbourhood feels nicer than the older ones. The wood construction here can make you forget the stone ruins looming over Haven. This area was built in the past decade and is largely residential. The Passion Garland made her mark on the area by sending her questers to build an almshouse for the poor, elderly or invalid. The two-storey building seems to sag under its own weight. Thunder rolls in the distance as the front door bursts open. Angry looking troll stomps out of the building and locks eyes with you. Bit of dramatic music. <laughs> we will end the session right there. Awesome. Thank Marvellous. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well Thank done you for reaching the end of one adventure. We have started the next one um, in the Legends of Bar Save series. Thank you to, again, wonderful players who uh, make this journey so much fun and, and so easy. Um, so thank you to Ian and to Phil and to Kieran and to Luke for your marvellous presence at my virtual table this evening. We did bring snacks, but unfortunately, <laughs> not to share. Thank you, Damien. And uh, this is the bit where I do the usual thing of... Uh, you know, if you've watched us this far and you've not liked and subscribed, please do. Makes a difference. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep on with Earth Dawn. We're getting up to grips, we think, with the system now. And uh, it's nice to see something different, isn't it? So, you know... Let us you know, know. What, yeah. yeah, absolutely. By all means, tell us what you think. If there's something you would perhaps a comment on other systems you'd like us to have a look at. We do have a huge number to be going through, but if you've got a particular favourite... Perhaps we can tell you whether it's one that's on our list already. Perhaps it's something we can add to the list of. Or things. maybe it's something that's not on our radar, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Um, yeah, we're playing, just briefly, we're playing um, Earth Dawn 4th Edition, available from facetgames.com, using the Foundry virtual tabletop port of that system, which is working very well despite my squabbles with it last week. That was all down to me, not down to the system. Um, background. Background audio from tabletop audio as usual. 
um, and some stock images from Adobe. And yeah, thank you very much, and we will see you next week. Cool, thank you. Thank you.